Okay, so one day after I'm moping around after the Canucks game where they play the St. Louis Blues and I'm ultimately disappointed with the result, the Vancouver Canucks bring me right back on board with a hiring of an assistant general manager today. It is a name that you might be a little bit familiar with, especially if you're looking at the NHL players and seeing the player agents and whatnot. The Vancouver Canucks have hired Emily Castonguay as their assistant GM. Now, this is pretty big news. Firstly, this is the woman who represented Alexi Lafreniere earlier on, so there you go, there's a little bit of a connection with the New York Rangers. Secondly, this is the player agent that represented, and I say represented because she is no longer a player agent, she is the assistant GM of the Canucks. She represented Antoine Roussel, meaning that this is the woman that fleeced Jim Benning into giving Roussel that terrible, terrible contract. Terrible for the Canucks, very good for him and his agent. So, this is a pretty good hiring just right off the bat without even reading the article. Let's go ahead and read the article so we can get ourselves up to speed with what it is Castonge provides the Vancouver Canucks. She is the new assistant GM, and she is the first female assistant GM in team history. Castonge joins the Canucks from Momentum Hockey, where she became the first NHLPA Women Certified Agent in Canada in 2016, representing numerous players at all ages, including the NHL, AHL, Junior, and internationally. This is what Rutherford had to say about her. She has extensive experience, is driven to succeed, and has a strong reputation in hockey for her intelligence and work ethic. She will play a lead role in player contracts and negotiations. Okay, that sounds very, very good. Managing the collective bargaining agreement. Okay, great. The CBA right there. And her voice will be heard in all aspects of hockey operations. She will be a key member of our leadership team, and we are pleased to welcome her to Vancouver. This is pretty much what Satir Shaw said here. An important void in the front office by hiring someone with contract and CBA expertise. Yeah, I gotta remember, that Antoine Roussel contract was pretty bad for Vancouver, and she's the one who negotiated with Benning on the part of Antoine Roussel. She says it's an honor to join the Vancouver Canucks, and she is grateful to Jim and the Aquiline family for the opportunity. The Canucks have a passionate fan base and an exciting young team with a bright future. I cannot wait to help build a winning organization that continues to grow and challenges for championships. That sounds great, especially if she's going to be the one managing the CBA and the Vancouver Canucks cap. She was named one of the 25 most powerful women in hockey in 2020 by Sportsnet, played four years of NCAA Division I hockey at Niagara University, where she graduated with a bachelor's degree in finance in 2009 and won a Natural Schaller Athlete Award, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, for her success both on the ice and in the classroom. Following her studies in Niagara, she earned a law degree from the University of Montreal, or should I say that in French? the Université de Montréal, ay, 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 I'm really bad at that, I'm sorry, in 2012, and is a member of the Quebec Bar Association. So, she's got a law degree, she's got a finance degree, she was one of the first women to be certified as an agent in Canada in 2016. That is absolutely spectacular, love seeing the resume over here, she's got a very good one. And so, the Vancouver Canucks hiring somebody who can maneuver the cap and help them out in this department definitely does seem like a good hire. Now, I didn't talk about this when it happened, so I guess I'm going to go over it now here. Let's talk about Rachel Dory, too. Because four days ago, the Vancouver Canucks hired Rachel Dory to be a part of their analytics department, and this is honestly a pretty great move, too. Now, there wasn't a VancouverCanucks.com website article that they posted about Dory, so we're going to go ahead onto the province and read what it is that Patrick Johnston has. Rachel Dory will be working with the team's hockey analytics department, and this is a pretty big deal because she's a very bright, young, up-and-coming person in the hockey world right here. She confirmed the news herself on Twitter on Thursday, so last week, that she will be indeed working for the Vancouver Canucks. She'll be alongside Aiden Fox, Ryan Beach, and Miles Hoken for the analytic department. She's written in the past for The Athletic, was an analytics advisor at Nisipin University, as well as senior analyst of data and analytics at BMO Financial Group. She's been the director of advanced performance for York University's athletic department for the last 2.5 years, and she also wrote for Elite Prospects from October 2019 until this week. So, if you're a fan of EP, you're probably familiar with Rachel Dory and her work. 
This is what J.D. Burke, who works at Elite Prospects, said about Rachel. She was one of the first hires at Elite Prospects and EP Ringside as our OHL regional scout with a little crossover work. She quickly distinguished herself with her work ethic, detailed-oriented approach, and advanced knowledge of the ins and outs of the sport. Her work on player development was especially fascinating. She filled scouting reports, contributed to the Ringside vertical, and her voice carried a lot of weight in our scout meetings. And I don't really think I've hammered the point home yet, but... She started post-secondary education in 2013, so she's very young, very bright, actually worked with the New Jersey Devils after going to Laurentian University for Commerce and Sports Administration, graduating cum laude, by the way. So she was there for a while, eventually going over to York University, working on her sports science and analytics masters. So yeah, you don't get through doing all this stuff while being a bum. So she's got herself a very good head on her shoulders, and she's going to be helping out the Vancouver Canucks in an analytics role. So Vancouver, man, lots of good hires over the past few days here. And Jim Rutherford going out there and saying that the GM interview process is officially complete. We might have ourselves an announcement soon as to who will be the main GM, the person at the top of the chain. Well, I guess Jim Rutherford is going to be at the top of the chain, just under Jim Rutherford, I guess, when it comes to making decisions and building this Canucks team into the future. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about the hires of Emily Castonguay as well as Rachel Dory? We didn't make the video about Dory a few days ago, so that's my bad. But talk to me in the comments. What are your opinions about these hires? In my opinion, these are very, very smart hockey minds that are going to be helping out the Vancouver Canucks in ways that hopefully we have not seen helped out before. So... If it means new direction, new change for this team in terms of cap flexibility, cap management, and analytics prioritization, I think it could be a very good thing. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Charles and I. And bye.